Hello there everybody, this is Seawalt the Plan One here, and welcome to one of my favorite Super Nintendo games to play as a kid. Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Oh my god. I am in love with this game. I'm in love with it. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, let's see. I am going to set my difficulty to Brave, and of course add that. Okay. Um, a little bit about this game actually. Um, this is actually my first exposure to Star Wars. Um, before this... Uh, I have never watched any of the original trilogy movies because, of course, this is before the original trilogy, um, actually, this is before the prequel trilogy came out, meaning episodes one through three, and I had no idea what was going on in the story, but now that I know what's going on in the story, well, yeah. <laughs> um, and to any of you asking, why are you doing Super Return of the Jedi first? Why don't you do Super Star Wars or Super Empire Strikes Back? Because screw the difficulty of those! <laughs> Yeah, even though I like those games, those games are way too hard for me in my case. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get to playing them, but who knows. But anyway, enough about that. Hi, Salacious Crumb laughing in the background. You are so annoying. Um, let's just get into this game, shall we? Or rather, get to the demo. And that is seriously the select sound effect. And of course the music has to cut off because SNES 9X has to be a douche. <laughs> Commander, I hope that for your sake the new Death Star will be completed by the time the Emperor arrives. He is not as forgiving as I am. Yes, Lord Vader. We shall double our efforts. Yeah, this is how the cutscenes are presented in the Super Star Wars games. They're pretty close to the original plot of the original films, so... Yeah. Anyway... Meanwhile, on Tatooine, Luke, Leia, and Chewie race on a land speeder towards Jabba the Hutt's palace to rescue Han Solo. Okay, so pretty much like no... Like, unlike the previous two Super Star Wars games, this game actually does take place, does start off, on a Mode 7 level. The Super Star Wars games were pretty known for their Mode 7 sequences, and of course this being the Super Nintendo, JVC was obviously awesome enough to take advantage of the Mode 7 graphics and stuff. And let me tell you, it looks pretty appealing on the Super Nintendo, to be honest. It still looks appealing today, as it does back then. So yeah, um, I'm actually using a keyboard because I am too lazy to... Ow. I'm actually too lazy to uh, get myself a USB controller. That looks like a Super uh, Nintendo controller, so that sucks. Anyway, in order to complete this first level, you had to complete a certain amount of distance, of course, as you see on the top of the screen. 
Your distance meter shows how much you have, have left to go before you reach the end of the level. And, of course, they're using the Battle of Endor music, when clearly this is no fitting. <laughs> but yeah, I am boosting on the speeder there, but yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> As dawn approaches, Luke, Leia, and Chewie begin to climb the mountainside towards the palace of Jabba the Hutt. Okay, so this game gives you three characters to choose from, actually, or up to three characters to choose from per level. Here we have Luke Skywalker here, Chewie, or Leia Bausch. Um, interesting about Leia is that she actually has different outfits depending on the level. Um, who knows if I'll be showing them up, but for this level, for the sake of the thing, I'm going to be choosing Luke first. And our first level, ladies and- or first real side-scrolling level, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so Luke is outfitted with a double jump if you press... I believe this is the B button, actually. Yeah, it's one of those games where B is jump, and A is to, like, attack or something. And, oh yeah, what I just picked up right there was a thermal detonator. Which, it's basically a screen nuke of sorts. Of sorts, yeah. Anyway, Luke here has probably the most uh, standard gameplay out of the characters you get to play as here. Um, he has for he has force powers since he knows all about the force and and yeah he's a Jedi and shit. <laughs> um, in order to select force powers, you have to press select. Um, he has five force force powers: saber, which he can use to actually I'll demonstrate them right here. Um, saber, which allows him to uh, wave his lightsaber around like that. Deflect, which will allow him to deflect uh, projectiles. Actually, I'll let me to show that. Yeah, he sparkles and stuff. It's it's all... <laughs> he sparkles and shit, so I guess that's something. Um, freeze, which you can use to freeze enemies. Like that. It's basically like a freeze screen nuke, or I guess. <laughs> um, Vanis, which will allow him to camouflage himself. It does cost a lot of force power, so... Yeah. And... And last but not least is his essential force power-up, um, heal, which of course heals you up. By standing on these things, you can either get a rock, you can either get a rock or a heart, which of course heals you up. Right there, I have no idea what those are called, but they're basically co your coins of this universe. Collect a hundred of them, and you'll gain yourself an extra life. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um. For those of you who actually played Super Star Wars, the first Super Star Wars game, um, the double jump was not added into Super Empire Strikes Back, so the double jump is at whoa! What the heck happened there? Did that appear just did that enemy just appear out of nowhere or something? It does. Yeah, those things are really annoying, by the way. If you let them catch you, um, they'll basically carry you uh, over to the left, which obviously going to the left in a side scrolling game is not very good. Not very good for you indeed. And you're probably thinking Oh, what the heck is up with these creatures? They never appeared in any sort of other media. Well, Super Star Wars has... <laughs> I said Super Star Wars, haha. <laughs> um, Super Star Wars has this tradition of introducing to the Star Wars canon, um, never-before-seen creatures and such, and never-before-seen robots. So, that's something. I like how we see Jabba's palace out in the distance like that! Hello! Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm dying, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh! Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God I, like... Thank God I survived that fall, otherwise... I don't really remember if this was here or not. I don't even remember if I actually discovered this or not when I was a kid, but... Yeah. Anyway, another thing that the Super Star Wars series is known for, of course, if you've seen those, uh... If you've seen those, like, Baraja enemies, uh... Where the heck do I go? I don't think I've ever actually went down here before, actually. <laughs> Don't. Yeah. And I might as well show off Chewie here. I might as well show off Chewie. Um, Chewie is actually one of my best characters in the game. One of my best characters to play as, because he has a freaking blaster, of course. And, of course, I like blasters. I like the unconventional way of combat. I'm sorry, Jedis. I'm sorry for your purest Jedis out there, but I like the unconventional stuff better. Chewie not only has a blaster, but he also has this spin attack, which he's imper impervious to everything in sight, so that's awesome. And here we go, one of the big features of Super Star Wars is its bosses, of course. Well, of course, every game has to have bosses, but 
these bosses in particular really stand out because if you remember this guy from the movie, this is this is Jabba's door guard. The first boss of the game, really. For all the Super Star Wars games, I've always been I've always been extremely interested in in its bosses, really, because they're creatures that we'd never that we either never seen before or creatures or minor characters from the movie. That makes it really, really cool. Yeah, and this door guard is just appearing in and out of nowhere. What the hell? What the hell, guys? Okay, there we go. Um, one other attack that the door guard, door guard can do is that, uh, he, uh, well, if the dude can show it off, okay, there we go, is that he can bounce on the ground like that and cause all these boulders to appear out of nowhere. Now, of course, I'm dying here. I like Chew I like how Chewie has a human skeleton whenever he gets electrocuted, because electrocution is a thing. Alright. So come on. Come on, dude. Are you gonna die anytime soon? Dorgard! Sir, Dorgard. Okay, there we go. The electrocution attack of such. And get that thing out of there. Yeah, it's important you destroy those uh, little blaster thingies, because they can seriously obstruct your progress if you don't destroy them. And there we go! Explosion satisfaction! Ha 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 ha! Yeah! Yeah, huzzah! And now, onward to the next level, and of course I will show off Lo- Le Loa. Leia Bausch, excuse me, bleh. Since this is technically her place in the thing. Now, I don't often use Leia, but... But, she's actually pretty useful. Her double jump is actually worthy of a spin attack of sorts. And I guess that's something, I guess. She has this sort of, like, spear attack, which she can do. And I guess... I guess it's useful, but... But, to be to be perfectly frank here, I don't really often use Leia that much, so... Oh, these things. I freaking hate these guys with the masks and stuff. What they like to do is, they like to grab on... Sometimes they like to grab on you, and... They just utterly destroy you. I won't even bother naming all these creatures and ah, yeah, yeah. Those guys can get really annoying because they grab you and stuff, and you can't get away until a certain time. Also, they have like these little glowing feet and hands things, and this is why I hate this. I hate this level so much, <laughs> and that's why Chewie is my best character so far because, well, so far. Because he has that spin attack that freaking causes everything to, like, explode or whatever. Jeez. If there's one thing that the Super Star Wars games are known for is, is their high level of difficulty. Particularly Super Empire Strikes Back, because if you decide to play that game, you will die. <laughs> I actually played all the Super Star Wars games recently, but... Well, recently as in, like, high school or whatever. But Super Return to Jedi is is the one I'm most familiar with, out of all of them. Because they are my childhood. They are my childhood difficulty. They were my Castlevania before I ever touched Castlevania. And of course, Chewie's spin attack doesn't allow him to freaking regenerate until he fully regenerates, which is dumb. And it's stupid. And it's dumb. And it's dumb that I'm dying so much. Pfft. I freaking hate those guys. Well, at least be thankful I'm not using Bandicam this time around, because if you notice, I'm not using Bandicam. What a shock. I'm actually using Fraps with SNES 9X, because... Yeah, apparently Z SNES can't handle end levels very well. Just saying that right now. You know, I was doing like a sort of a... Sort of a practice run of this level, because, well... I suddenly decided, like, hey, why not show everyone... Why not show the peoples one of my favorite Super Nintendo games ever? And, yeah, why not show the peoples that, and what I decided to do is- OH GOD DAMN IT! WHY AM I DYING AT THIS LEVEL SO GODDAMN MUCH?! Hmm. <sighs> I should've gone with easy mode. <laughs> well, at least you get continues in this game, of course. Um, there is a way to get multiple continues, um, but I'm not deciding to use cheats. Nope, because that's just not how I roll. It's not how I roll, kids. Yeah. There is... I will be showing off cheats in a bonus episode, just saying that right now. But as for the regular playthrough, I'm not showing off cheats. Yeah, these guys can respawn, so if you're ever in need of hearts, I guess you could go with them. And such. 
God, can I ever get past this screen without these guys do without these guys dogging me? God damn. And that's particularly why this is probably my most hated level. It's on and it's only the second level of the game. Good lord. I haven't made it past this screen yet, and already I'm I'm starting to take out my murder on like Jawas. And these guys can go to hell. Yeah. So pretty much as Chewy, you want to be careful with them. And I'm I'm guessing like I'm guessing if you're playing as Luke here, um, you could technically abuse free the force power freeze since well freeze freezes enemies of course so I guess you can take advantage of that but I'd rather have Chewie as my playable character um if you have a thermal detonator use it to basically nuke enemies right away basically just use it to nuke the crap out of these guys just gonna say that right now and probably Probably my best bet here is I'm gonna have to use like the ranged weapons of sorts since I don't have any blaster power ups. As strange as this is, um, blaster power ups aren't appearing, which could be due to emulation, I guess, or maybe that's how the Super Star Wars games, or maybe that's how this particular game function. I don't know. I don't know what is up with that, but ain't nobody got no time for that. Um, sometimes I know uh, blaster power-ups can appear here, because you can upgrade your blaster here if you're playing as any one of the blaster characters. And yes, I said blaster characters. We'll be getting into, well, what I what I know as my favorite character. Getting used... Uh, da, 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 da. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Ugh. And that is why I, I, am, I, 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 I am doing so poorly here. Because these... Because these assholes. Because these assholes, that's why. But thankfully, I'm hoping... Yes! We're getting to the end of the level! Duh! God damn it! I have the intention to name the thing ass whenever I get a game over. And it's only the first part! <laughs> Ugh, my god. Okay. Okay, I'll meet you guys at the end of the level. Jesus Christ, man, my god. Okay, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And that didn't I didn't lo lose any lives at all. So, hooray? Yay? <laughs> and that's particularly why why the Super Star Wars games are notorious. They are hard. Not really too hard as balls, but trust me when I say Super Empire Strikes Back will murder your children. <laughs> yeah, and because I don't have any blaster power-ups for whatever reason, um, this next boss could give me trouble. Hopefully not, because this next boss is Bib Fortuna. Hey, remember him from the movie when he did that? When he got when he fell into that Jedi mind trick? Hey, blaster power-up! So, now I can actually get into explaining blaster power-ups. Um, the blaster power-ups can upgrade your weapon a total of four times. First you get the regular blaster, then you get flame, uh, seeker, rapid ion, and then finally plasma, which is freaking awesome. Blasters is, or rather, plasma is freaking awesome because it does the most damage, of course, and yeah, that sort of thing. Um, if you're playing as Luke here, you might want to use deflect or something. Um, whenever you're playing as Luke, it's pretty much essential with bosses that you have to use heal as to the best of your ability as you can. So to say. Or rather, so to speak. And, I like how Jabba's laugh is throughout the level, by the way. <laughs> Does it get annoying? Maybe. But, to some, it's pretty much why everyone likes these games or something. Or at least among the, uh fans who actually like these games, or rather, like the Super Nintendo, and hooray! Now we can actually rescue Han or something from the Carbonite. Huzzah. And actually, and I actually get to read dialogue that is lovey-dovey and shit. <laughs> Who's there? I can't see. Someone who loves you! <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have a field day with this. Leia! Han, you have hibernate. you have hyper-harbernation sickness. Hibernation sickness from being frozen in carbonite. 
Your eyesight will return soon. I recognize that laugh. <laughs> I know that laugh. It's I know that laugh, not I recognize that laugh. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know. Exact dialogue is not exact. But anyway, for this next level, we are we have two characters of our choice. I'm going to pick Chewie for this next level, which we shall do next time. So next time on Let's Play Super Return to Jedi, as I'm going to call it, we're going to go in deeper inside Jabba's Palace. So see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.